Hello, my friends of Hattery Labs. Welcome to this tutorial. In this case, we are, I mean, the, from, from home to the, I mean, uh, from this, from maybe from the last tutorial, I will try to make really extended long tutorials so on Modflow with Volmius that will cover mostly of how is the data treatment and so on. And maybe it's kind of an interaction with you um, about um, the different to topics of numerical modeling. Uh, what does it mean that this, uh, this tutorial will be extended? I mean, and it will have a lot of speaking and maybe there will, there will be a, like, there will be some errors or like some trial and error on the methods for the simulation or for the model constructions. And, and I think that it's very helpful that you you get a that you get a, a a feeling of how is to to work with numerical models is nothing like you are going to put some values there and then you are going to simulate it okay so with this like i will what what i will have is i have a a win a zipped file of a model so i will create a um the carpet on my tutorial of cross section of mod flow with us okay so i paste it here and then i i have here uh, and i go to model and here is my model I like it this one only. I'm sorry about the noise that you will that you will find uh, because today is the National Day of Peru and I live close by an um, air base, so a lot of planes are doing some stuff. Okay, so you will receive this, I guess. Okay, so and then. Mm -hmm. Let's see what is here. Okay, here. EBT, D, so, so, so. No, this is not the file that I want. So, CRE. Okay, I need this. Great, so I just need this. It's a very heavy, it's a heavy, it's a heavy file. Well, let's see what is here. Okay, I open this with Modflow and Model Muse. We'll take time because it's already 100 mix of information okay and this is the model itself yeah cool here we have the model then we show the active edge what else do we show here is what else do we show wow what is going on here? There is a problem here. Why? Because on the active edge, okay, I go to object, hide all objects. The, yeah, there is a problem here. Why? Because what I do see here is like, is that the, what I do see here is like we have, if you see here, the, so we have the model, but there is still two, 
that is still two um, two rows or columns that are active. So what I will do, in fact, this is not my model, by by the way. So I will create a rectangular object here in order to deactivate this. Maybe from here to here, and then will be deactivate uno. Hydrology, oops, it will be two, yes, two, why not? A required hydrology active false. Yeah, so this won't be active anymore. So why I do? Hmm? What has happened here? All right, let's see. Upper aquifer bottom. Enclosed cells, intersected, no. Active false, it's all right. Why did it not change this? Let's go to this one. Why do not deactivate? Okay, set value for enclosed cells. I go here to require layer definition. Ah, wow. Yes, I see. There is a lot of. Yes, okay. Okay, let's see. This has, the model has, actually, it has, but it's, it's good to, that you see this. The model has one layer, but in fact, it has three layers. But if you see here, like on the model construction, if you see here, there are two very small and infinity layers here, but are not active. So what I will need is I go to layer groups, and then I will delete these two. Okay, now I have just one layer. And if I have just one layer, and then if I go here, uh -huh. okay, now. Yes, now I have just yes, layer groups. I will have a fully convertible vertical discretization one. Okay, but what else do I need here? Why why doesn't do not disappear? Okay, I go to data, the data set required, layer definition, model top, upper aquifer bottom. Yes, that's right. Then I open this. Model top, upper aquifer bottom, set value for control cells. Maybe I change of color. And I go to active, I go to true. And then I go here and I put to back. No. Wow, so I go to data, edit data sets, option required, hydrology active, and by default is false. Wow, uh, let's see, I, I have to, I will do another one, model top, required hydrology active, true, because it's not working, aha, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, it's working. Okay, I don't know what had happened here, but I have to do it again. 
yeah and that's that's something cool about these tutorials because you deal with real problems yep and my advice is if you are doing you know, some if you are doing some um if you are doing some research on this like you will deal with this o sea, i mean it's not that you will go and put your values and tomorrow you will have a model no we know so i get another deactivate one model top of the from bottom okay data sets required hydrology active false okay i put what happened here so what why you cannot deactivate this why you cannot deactivate this because actually if i set this to true okay it's right why i cannot deactivate this so i put control set yeah maybe there is a boundary condition uh, let's see the boundary conditions we have okay so we have ch okay right so we have a chd here that is huge so activate a csd but actually you would need a chd here only so i will create a node here now first i select this Mm -hmm. I create a cool. I created one here and I created another one here. Cool. Um, and then what else? I deleted this one. Why? I deleted this one. Cool. Yeah right yes that's why i could because and then i have to delete this one as well okay cool okay so in the end it wasn't necessary to to do this subject because actually it was the it was a boundary condition the ones that we my advice is that this has to need to have a color otherwise it, it will be on black and it's not pretty okay cool and what else do we have here we have to do the same here because there is another boundary condition here that we will put some value here Okay, change of color. Then we add some. Mm -hmm. Then I break this one. Cool, and then I break. I do. And then I select the expert text, and as well, I took it out. Okay, cool. Well, this I select as well this vertex. Take it out. Cool. Yep. Now I have the boundary. Well, cool. Then I save my project. Okay. What else?
I will run my model, my flow model. And this is running on mod flow 2005. Cool. Interesting. Cool. And the model is in static. So, and let's see something about the water balance as well. As I repeat, I haven't seen this model before. It's a person that gave it to me. So we are pumping 90 liters or, I oh know, it's in. Maybe the regional force, the re regional flow was defined as pumping wells. There is some recharge, minimal. And the constant heat, wow, the constant heat is taking 90 liters. Okay, there is, this is much. Okay, so let's see how are the how are the two, 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 how are heads? So I will import with heads. These are the heads. As control grid, why not? Update. There were some values here, so I will delete it. Oops, sorry. Yes, this is something that is, I mean, this is not the purpose of this, of this tutorial. But on this model, you the water tables are on the air, on the air. Okay, so first I will data, delete more results. Okay, I will delete more results. And then I will, on data, I will delete more results. And then I will, Uh, import it again as a color grid. Yep. And then I just put the active page. And then if you see the heads are above surface. Yep. And these are much above surface at all. And this is not good because like, what does it mean that heads are above surface that do that you have much water, I mean, that water is above surface. I mean, groundwater is above surface. Uh, let's see, can I improve this? What do you say? Yes or no? Let's say no. Uh, no, let's say yes. I, I feel kind of generous today. So I go to well, and on wells, there are three wells, but these wells are giving 90, the problem is that they are giving 90 cubic meters per second, but this is not, maybe this is just 90 liters per second. So if they are 90 liters per second, there is a strong, there is a strong misconceptualization on the units. Yep. So, okay, so this is the pumping rate is not 30 liters, but this is that, and it's not 30 cubic meters, but it's, that, it's 30 liters. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, and this is specified concentration. Um, by the way, I always like to change colors. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. These ones as well. Change of color. And this is 0 0.03. I'm sorry. And on the single sources, basically. And this is as well. Cool. So I will object, delete data, or delete more results. Cool, why not? And then I go to data, 
the data sets, I will check layer definition model top is zero, and on hydrology, what finisher head is zero as well. I save my project and then I run it again. And then I run. Okay, great, it's already. And then if I go to the water budget at the end, I see. Okay, so 90 liters and it's recharged is one liter. And as well, what you would have is the constant head will take the 90 liters. Okay, that is more real. Yeah, so if I open the EFHD as a control grid, what I will see is cool. Still, we have a lot of water. I mean, we have 340 as our maximum head. However, however, yes. Okay, this is too much. So since we don't have that much, I think that I would rather check the key value. And the key value is, is this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see how is it if I put it one order magnitude bigger. So I run it again. <laughs> yeah, and then if I see again, water balance should not have to fair much. And then we'll go to, with the FHD. Uh, okay. Let's control it. Okay. Well, it's better. Yes, I I will still think what had happened here. I don't like it that much. Maybe this is not 30. Who knows? Maybe there is more evapotranspiration. Let's see how much is the evapotranspiration here. Because the two, or maybe there are some streams there. Well, this is not my model, so I have to... I have um, I will run the MT3DMS, so it's like this, so it created this beautiful, this beautiful, and it will only take 30 time steps, because it's actually, what is, the step size is 2. Ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh, I think what has happened here. If I have go to days, days, it has to be in meters. Well, doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's in days. Yeah. yeah. If this is in days, the hydraulic conductivity has to be one. Yeah, because it's three orders of magnitude. Yes. So what I will do is I will go to the data sets. Hydrology required, hydrology KX, and this is one. Okay, so I will data, delete more results. Yeah. And then I run it again. As I, as, as I told you, maybe you are a little confused of what you are dealing with here. Cool. Then we have a problem here. What has happened? Yes. You have an input and an output by the constant head. Cool, and you have not reached the discrepancy is two. Yeah, doesn't matter. You go to package and programs. Yeah. And maybe you're a little confusing why I'm doing this and maybe why I'm reviewing this in front of you. Because uh, this is 
um, a model that a person gave me to me to give it a review. And I know that, and I maybe received two mails from people all around the world every week tell me, please help me with my with my exercise because I don't, and it's true, there is no much documentation in Modflow. I mean, there is a lot of documentation in the, in, on the manual, but there is not much documentation on the, on how to model, I mean, the practical, the practical stuff of modeling. And I'm, I'm sorry I cannot give you support on this, but I think that if you follow the videos I'm doing, like you will have better tools to do this, no? So, but you need patience. Okay, no, nothing else here. What else? I will do something else. I will go to Modflow package and programs. Uh, no, I am Modflow, Modflow package and programs. I have already increased the number of iterations to 500 and it didn't work well. And I will relax the model by 0 0.03, what else I will do? Uh, I'm going to decrease a little bit the KX to 0 0.1, I do apply, I do close, I do run, I do yes. Okay, it has decreased a little bit the percentage of fail of the discrepancy has decreased a little bit. I think this is, and I will, I will lower the hydraulic conductivity just to reach a discrepancy. Save, I run, guardar. Okay, great. Cool, mm. 3.51. Okay, I will do another thing. I will go to with Modflow NWT. <coughs> and let's see what, and then if I go to Modflow NWT, I go with flow, with add UPV, um, okay, this is okay, and then I save it. Wow, there is a problem with the water heads here. Yeah, I will, I will leave it like this because I don't have time to go and to review which is the problem with the water heads. Actually, the two constant heads are draining water. Okay, let's see, I open this. As a control grid. And then you see more, if you see, if you compare it with topography, this is much better. So I will run the empty 3 dms Okay. And this is a beautiful like this, it, and uh, is and it's only is simulating for sixty days the contaminant plume. This is the output that is word that you read it, and as well, I'm going to open the contaminant plume at the end, at the end, as a color grid. Okay, cool, great. And you, you don't see much here because actually what you would, okay, I have increased the, the filters you need it from zero. Apply, close. Okay, great. Something is going on here. The contaminant plume, is really, really small on 60 days of memory. So I go to time 
and on time I will do it from 360 days yeah on the static 360 days okay um, I will even go with 10 years why not mm -hmm. okay so I run it again as a 9 file the flow model I still have the problem but since this I will I will leave this and then I I export the mt3 ms and this simulation will take 33 time steps okay great and then if I open the results Cool. Now you have a, a bigger contaminant plume, but I would like to have a much bigger contaminant plume. How do I do that? I do increase the hydraulic conductivity, or I, uh, let's see, I will do two things and then I will stop like this. Okay, I go to mod flow time and then I have here well 10 years i think is is all right and in 10 years the contaminant plume has already gone 80 meters but if you go to edit data sets and you go to hydrology on the kx i will do hydraulic conductivity of one okay i have an error but I won't deal with this error right now. I mean, you have to do it, but uh, I have um, a convergence problem. Don't worry. Data, delete more results. And then I I will open the heads as a control grid. Cool. And then I will run the MT3DMS model. Okay. Cool. Right. And I show just the end. Cool. Wow. Wow, 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 It seems that this contaminant plume is not giving much water. I mean, oh, otherwise, yeah, I mean, maybe this is kind of a stagnant, yeah, and there is no much gradient, hydraulic gradient. That's why the is not the hydraulic heads are not um, the the plume do not reach i mean do not go further okay okay so what we will do is we i will open my, my qis yep and then i will export export chip files grid data to chip file and what I will export, I will export the data sets, optional, more results, 3D data, and then I will, uh, first data, delete more results, yeah, and then I will open just the one that I want, because it, it has given me a lot of results. Okay, file, export, shape file, grid data to shape file, and this is the only one that I have, and then I want it as 2D points, 3D points if you like. There. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what we have done is like here you have a chip file, a 
it lowers it to shape value. What is the shape file? Yep, this is the shape file. Okay, this is the shape file. Yes, and um, wow, this is in Colombia. What? What? <laughs> it's Magna Sirga's Colombia song, I guess. I hope. Go here, and then I will open add vector layer. Where? Where is my? Yeah, and then is Magna Sirgas. Botason. Let's see if this one. Cool. Okay, great. Uh, let's see if this if is if it doesn't. I I won't look. At it. Mm, hey, it seems that it is. Wow. Okay. So it's here. What is it actually? Oh, it's in the airport. The airport. Great. So what else we will do is we will do we'll we'll look at the attribute table. It's a lot of attribute table. Because actually we will do a query, but first we have to do, and then we have concentrations. Okay, great. So first, and then we do concentration greater than zero, because it's actually a concentration from the active zone, and then we have here, but zero, but greater than five. Actually, on MT3MS there is a lot of noise. So yeah, mm, now. Maybe greater than one, just to decrease the noise. Cool, great. So, okay, so what else can I do? Um, actually, the contaminant plumes, where, where do the contaminant plumes come from? Um, okay, I will do this, great filter. That's greater or equals to zero. Yes. Okay, great. So what else I will do is I will do from processing, I will do a toolbox, and then I will do a nearest neighbor. I could do a nearest neighbor or a zip line. Zip line interpolation that is uh Multilevel BSPLI interpolation. I will, will do this from column concentration threshold. The raster size will be okay. This raster size, this was the discretization for which discretization do we need for our raster size. Hmm. One meter. Column concentration, and here will be one meter. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Hmm. No, I didn't like it. I will do a nearest neighbor. Nearest neighbor here. Concentration one. Okay, great. Not much better, but still, wow. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
Do you know that the problem is, ah, he, 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 there. Okay, 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 okay. There are three contaminant plumes here. But the problem is that these contaminant plumes are not quite uh, aligned with them. Mm. I can cut the, but this will take time. I can cut the, okay, but yes. What else I can do? What else I can do here? Mm. I can cut this, but it will take time. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, I will create a property. I will create a transparency here, and the styles I will go to single band pseudo color. Classify, I do apply, I do okay, and a plugin that is called some plugins, managing some plugins. Yeah, and then is profile tool. Profile tool, I will activate it. I have already installed, but I will activate it. Okay, and if you don't have it installed, just put here that it will appear install plugin, but just in case. Okay, okay, listo. Great, and then it's really easy to do a profile of the, it's really easy to do a profile area. Mm -hmm. So if I do a, uh, So if I do hmm, on the layer, which layer I'm using is, I need to add a layer, so it will be the grid, add layer, it will be grid. And I don't like this color, I will rather use this one. Cool, great, and then what else, what else, what else? Show cursor. So, if the cursor is like this, like a cross, you just need to do like this, and then you finish with the mm. what happened? Other again, I go to here. Ah, okay. I just press the icon here. And with the right click, I finish. No. With double click, okay. With double click, it appears there. So if I do this, this. And right click, I can see the concentrations of the, I can see concentrations of different, <clears throat> I can see concentrations of different, uh, of different, on the different parts of this ecosystem. Okay, once again, I do like this and then I can do like this. And these are the concentration because it's actually this is concentration of the contaminant that is dealing with this sewage. Okay, cool. So what so far? It's okay. So with this, you can save us as a PNG, or like you can have the table with the with the cross sections and some settings. Okay. So this is the tutorial so far. What you will receive is this data. I will delete more results. If you want to recreate this, but remember that this has already the, the discussion of the, 
of the latest of what I told you at the beginning of the video. Thank you really for following me on this channel. And we hope that we gave you very interesting stuff. And from, from my perspective, it's always hard to, to do a, to do numerical modeling if your background on the most basic things are not strong. And that's why uh, I will recommend you to first do not get involved in this topic if you are dealing with few time. Have a lot of patience in order to deal with the different stuff. Um, read a lot and follow the tutorials that I gave because uh, you won't find my you you won't find me and I have already uh, as a person has a, that have done a master thesis um, I know what is what is missing on the I know what is missing more on the knowledge on the background knowledge and as well I know what is missing on the On the background knowledge and what is missing on the on this topic about to deal with the with the software okay so so far thank you for all and see you in the next tutorial please if you like it what you are seeing just uh, subscribe to this youtube channel okay